So I have always sort of historically been one of those girls that goes after something that I'm into. I'm not very old school and the like, I'm going to wait on you, wait for you to approach me type of situation. When it comes to Solange Knowles, what some people see as a free-spirited, carefree woman who does whatever she wants, others see a problematic, attention-seeking woman with an attitude problem. Well, whichever way you choose to look at it, the common denominator is that she's been through a couple of relationships that all ended in disaster. But if there is one person who has made it very clear in the past that she does not care what people say about her and her several relationships, it's Solange. I'm really good at telling people no. I have a lot of I don't give a what in my cup. So if I don't feel like it, then I don't feel like it. So a lot of you may not know this, but Solange's first boyfriend was actually Omarion from B2K, but they kept the relationship private for the most part. Solange dated Omarion around the time when she was performing on stage with Beyonce as a backup dancer for Destiny's Child. And because she had also just released her first album in 2002, being around the industry at such a young age put her in contact with celebrities like Omarion. According to Solange, she kept that relationship private because she thought the B2K fans would have cut her otherwise. Well, I'm pretty sure the relationship ended on good terms, because the sultry woman in Omarion's breakup song Icebox is actually Solange. From Omarion, Solange then moved on to Daniel Smith. When they met, they were still very young, and Solange ended up getting pregnant when she was 17 years old, and Daniel was 19 years old. The high school sweethearts then got married in February of 2004 and moved to Idaho after their marriage, where Daniel Smith attended college. Solange's parents were very unsurprisingly frightened that their teenage daughter wanted to get married and have a baby at 17. But Solange had her mind made up. She even said, I'd been working since I was 13. I was making my own money. I wasn't really asking permission. Solange also said that they would have gotten married at some point anyway, but their unplanned pregnancy pushed up their timeline. She also told the Evening Standard that she was craving some stability, saying, we were crazy, impulsive teenagers, and I was obviously craving some sort of stability. She was craving stability at 17? For real? I guess that's the Hollywood life for you. Anyway, eventually the family accepted the situation and Solange's little boy even made a couple of cute appearances with Beyonce. This is a song written by Jules. Then Solange and Daniel got divorced three years later when she was just 21, and word on the street was that the reason why they got divorced was that Solange only got married because she was pregnant, and the marriage was a shotgun marriage forced by Matthew Knowles for the sake of appearances. Allegedly, Daniel never wanted to stay married to the point where Matthew was willing to pay him. Well, Solange confessed in an interview that marrying and divorcing young helped her mature earlier than people around her, but she still said in an interview with Elle magazine that the relationship had the most bittersweet moments of her life. Based on what she said, Solange loved staying at home with her son, but she called domestic life isolating, lonely, cold, and dark before adding, it was just Jules and me most of the time. It was hard to imagine being able to progress in my career in any way. After the divorce, Solange and Jules relocated to Los Angeles to get her career back on track. And while she kept her career on track, her son Jules was becoming impossible to deal with and started making headlines for all the wrong Wrong reasons. Anyway, moving on. There was a rumor that Solange was dating Lil Wayne at some point, but her rep called the rumor completely unfounded. Solange and Lil Wayne had a working relationship and even collaborated on several songs together, including Solange's 2008 track, Champagne Chronic Nightcap, and their 2016 song, Mad. And although there were rumors that they got together, they both denied it. In fact, Solange spoke out after rumors spread that she'd left her first husband, Daniel Smith, for Lil Wayne, telling S in a throwback interview, that's absolutely not true. Yes, we know each other, but I absolutely did not leave my husband for him. However, it later became public knowledge that they actually dated when Bow Wow accidentally spilled the tea. He was talking about his career in the chat room clubhouse when he let it slip that Lil Wayne and Solange briefly dated, not knowing the fling wasn't public knowledge. In 2008, Solange was spotted with football player Julius Peppers at Coachella, and after a couple of appearances together, 
followers assumed they were an item. This was actually pretty messy, because if I remember correctly, Julius was her ex-husband's ex-teammate. The relationship probably only lasted a couple of months, because in 2009, Solange was linked to rapper Wale. She once again denied the dating rumors and said that Wale was definitely not her boyfriend, adding that they were good friends and were on the same record label. However, a month later, Wale had an interview and he admitted that he was in love with her. By this time, Solange was already getting a reputation for sleeping around a lot, among other things, allegedly. And she defended herself by saying that just like everybody else, she was bound to make mistakes. Number one, I always acknowledge that um, I'm 22 years old and that I'm gonna make mistakes as everybody else does and I'm gonna live to a certain extent of normalcy. Um, and I learned how to sort of, you know, uh, embrace my mistakes. Even though she denied the relationship with Wale, one relationship I know for sure was real was the one with Alan Gerard Ferguson. When they first met, Solange was only 22 years old while Alan was 45. And despite their age difference, Solange wasn't afraid to make the first move and go after what she wanted. I've been in a relationship now for five years. Um, but certainly in the beginning, I was the one who approached him. By the time Solange was dating Alan, she was already having reservations about raising jewels in Los Angeles. And once the opportunity presented itself, they moved in together. In May 2011, Alan's father passed away. And although it was a devastating time in their lives, it was also the perfect opportunity for them to leave Los Angeles behind. And they moved to Brooklyn to be closer to his family in Virginia. Things were going pretty well. And in 2012, when Alan received one of the highest honors in the industry for the Video Director of the Year Award alongside Beyonce at the BET Awards, he said that Solange was the love of his life and his inspiration, but not for long. In January 2019, Solange and Alan went through a very difficult time when Alan's mom passed away. Then 10 months later, the marriage between them was over. At the time, Solange said that during that two-year period, she had a physical and spiritual evolution. She also said that she began confronting her fear, which she described described as her worst enemy, and in the end, separating from Alan was something she felt she needed to do for her own mental peace. There was also a time in 2019 when Solange was rumored to be dating John Bogart. In fact, word on the street was that Solange cheated on Alan with John. They allegedly met in a mental health rehab because Solange allegedly suffers from debilitating bipolar disorder and addiction. Well, this was also her manager, so it's possible that people confused their business relations for a romantic one. I personally don't know about mental health issues, but in 2017, Solange had to pull out of a major festival due to health issues. In a since-deleted Instagram post, she revealed she was battling an autonomic disorder that she had been quietly treating for months and that her health diagnosis had affected her blood pressure, cognitive impairment, and heart rate. Well, if you ask a lot of people, they will tell you that as much as Solange is drop-dead gorgeous, she kind of gives off some dark vibes that probably probably stem from daddy issues and rage issues, and she acts out of her family's hidden dysfunction. Plus, one can never really know what happens behind closed doors in those relationships. I mean, we're talking about a woman who waited until she was enclosed in an elevator with her brother-in-law, Jay-Z, and whipped his ass real good. It's been said that because of her anger and daddy issues, Solange can't keep a man, allegedly. But what do you think after all that 411? Is it giving a free spirit who doesn't stay in relationships she doesn't want to? Or or is it giving flaky and attention-seeking? Let me know what you think of Solange's several failed relationships in the comments section below.